All right, we're here at our favorite fishing spot today, and I'm here with the beautiful Dominique. Dominique, what you fishing for? Did you catch one? Oh, yeah, there she already has one. What do we got? Not a bad one. You know, let that one go. Yeah, how many have you caught today so far? How many? 30. 30? Has it been pretty fast? The bank here is pretty steep and you can see all the lava rock. The bank goes down. Those fish are suspended in that water only about six feet out, but they're getting pretty deep as that sun goes up. Dominique, how far out are you hooking those fish? How deep do you think? All right, we're starting to get some pretty good stringers set up. You can see it, they're floating. Wind came up a little bit. There's Do oh, Dominique just hooked another one. That looks like a pretty, that's a big one if it's a crappie, babe. Oh, we haven't been catching too many bass. We, I caught one here a little bit ago, about 13 inches and we threw it back. There's a, that looked like about a, 11 inch there. We got to be 12 here to keep, but we throw most of them back. That fish might look a little small next to Dominique there, being how she's six foot one. <laughs> Dominique's getting a pretty big stringer there. Let's see the guns, babe. See if you catch another one. Quit screwing around, come on. She got it figured out over here. It's about 94 degrees right now. It's getting pretty warm. We've been fishing here. How many times have we come so far in the last month or so? eight times and we've caught at least about a hundred crappie every time. Last Saturday Dominique caught herself a 18 inch crappie that was three pounds, 12, or three pounds, 3.12 pounds. Catch another one for us here, or what? <laughs> now the pressure's on. She's reeling them in, making me look bad before. When we were here this morning, we went about nine casts in a row, each of us, and reeled one in every single time. Let's see what you're oh, oh, oh. catching early. I want to show them what you got there. Got a, just a little hair jig tied on there with we got a real good trilene six pound test line. A little better when it's wet. Right. Heck, I could just sit here and watch you fish all day, babe. Sitting down doing lazy man fishing. Alright, pressure's on. Catch one. Really don't care for the whole fishing thing. We like catching, don't we, good? 
casting it out there and we're letting her sink about a oh, good 10 to 20 seconds and then we're doing a medium slow retrieve and then when we figure the jig is about six feet out or so we'll kind of we kind of pause the reel let those fish right now they're being real biting real light this morning they were hitting it like a freight train rockfish Yeah, I'm pretty good today. We haven't we've only lost, I think, maybe one jig in all this lava rock. Where are we getting at? It's gonna make great video. You fall in there. <laughs> These fish, since the sun's come up, have been running pretty deep on us. Uh, like I said earlier this morning, they were right up on the bank. If you cast it more than six to eight feet out, you're catch, casting too far. Uh, she's reeling in there. I'll get a close up of her lucky hat. That's the hat she wears when we go riding on the Harley. But you'll see right there in, her, in the bill of the hat is her lure that she caught her 18 inch three plus pound crop you here a few days ago with. That was pretty exciting, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now most of the poles we use here are ultralights. These are Berkeley ultralight poles. Using a real light uh, 1 16th ounce hair jig. If you can use a heavier jig, but if you do, as you can see, this all this loose lava rock which the fish like to hide in, then the big heavy jigs get down in between them, and boy, you start losing them real fast. Now, we end up filleting most of these fish because we sure do enjoy eating them, so we been catching them while the bite's on and trying to get mini packages stored away in the freezer. That way when the come fall when we're doing most of our hunting and we get a craving for fish, we have them. Now most of these crappie aren't really big crappie, but they are good eating and I don't think we enjoy we enjoy eating crappie more than we do just about any other fish, don't we, babe? She's quite the talker. All right, we've been fishing here for a few hours. Go ahead and hold them up there, babe. Yeah, show those muscles. Woo! <laughs> do the most muscular <laughs> How many think we got there? Oh, yeah, we got 50 at least that we kept. We probably threw back another 50 or 60 that we didn't deem worthy of our eating. Yeah, we got a nice little catfish. That'll eat good. So, we caught several bass. Well, crappie fishing in Idaho.